In the annals of biblical tales, few stories have captured the imagination of humanity quite like the account of Noah's Ark. The idea of a lone man tasked by the divine to build a vessel capable of weathering a catastrophic flood and preserving the world's flora and fauna has long been a source of fascination and debate. However, as captivating as the narrative may be, the logistical realities of constructing and maintaining such an ark have led many skeptics to question the feasibility of this endeavor. One of the primary concerns raised by skeptics is the immense scale of the task at hand. According to the biblical account, the ark was to be a colossal structure, measuring approximately 450 feet long, 75 feet wide, and 45 feet high. This would have made it one of the largest vessels of its time, dwarfing even the most impressive ships of the ancient world. The sheer size of the Ark raises questions about the availability of resources, the construction techniques, and the manpower required to bring such a project to fruition. Perhaps the most daunting challenge, however, lies in the task of housing and caring for the countless species of animals that were to be saved. The Bible specifies that Noah was instructed to bring aboard two of every kind of living creature, a directive that would have required the ark to accommodate a staggering diversity of life. From the towering elephants to the diminutive insects, each species would have required its own dedicated space, food, and care. Skeptics have pointed out the logistical nightmare of managing such a vast and varied menagerie within the confines of the ark. Ensuring the proper nutrition, sanitation, and well-being of these animals would have been an overwhelming undertaking, even for the most experienced zookeepers or animal husbandry experts. In addition to the challenge of housing the animals, the task of providing them with adequate sustenance for the duration of the flood poses another significant hurdle. The Bible states that Noah was instructed to gather every kind of food that is eaten and store it aboard the ark. Considering the diverse dietary requirements of the animal kingdom, this would have necessitated the procurement and storage of an astronomical quantity of food. Skeptics have questioned the feasibility of amassing and preserving such a vast stockpile of provisions, especially in an era when modern storage and preservation techniques were not yet available. The logistics of transporting, storing and rationing these supplies within the confines of the Ark would have been a monumental undertaking. Another pressing concern raised by skeptics is the issue of waste management and sanitation aboard the Ark. With countless animals producing vast quantities of waste, the task of containing, removing and disposing of this material would have been a constant and daunting challenge. The potential for the build-up of noxious fumes, the spread of disease, and the contamination of the limited water supply would have posed a grave threat to the well-being of both the animals and the human crew. Skeptics have argued that the lack of effective waste management systems and the limited space available on the Ark would have made it virtually impossible to maintain a safe and sanitary environment for the duration of the flood. Ultimately, the skeptic's primary concern is the overall feasibility of the Ark's survival. Given the immense scale of the undertaking, the logistical challenges, and the potential for catastrophic failure, many have questioned whether such a vessel could have withstood the ravages of a global flood for the duration specified in the biblical account. Skeptics have pointed to the potential for structural failures, the risk of disease outbreaks, the possibility of food and water shortages, and the inherent difficulties of navigating and controlling a vessel of such unprecedented size and complexity. They argue that the odds of the Ark and its inhabitants emerging from the flood, unscathed, are vanishingly small. The story of Noah's Ark has captivated the human imagination for millennia, but the logistical realities of such an undertaking have led many skeptics to question its feasibility. The sheer scale of the Ark, the challenge of accommodating and caring for the world's diverse animal species, 
the daunting task of storing sufficient provisions and the difficulties of waste management and sanitation all pose formidable obstacles that seem to defy the capabilities of the ancient world. While the biblical account may be rooted in a profound spiritual message, the skeptics' concerns about the practical and logistical challenges of building and maintaining Noah's Ark cannot be easily dismissed. The story continues to inspire debate and discussion, serving as a testament to the enduring power of human imagination and the ongoing quest to reconcile faith and reason. Hey everyone, thanks so much for joining me on this journey, and it's been great exploring its meaning with you. If you enjoyed this, be sure to hit that like button and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And for more engaging content like this, consider subscribing to the channel. Until next time, stay blessed and keep learning.